This is a quick demonstration of just how easy it is to create a geographically dispersed virtual volume on the new EMC VPlex. The answer in advance is that it's really easy. Here I'm logging into the EMC VPlex management console. You'll notice that just like all of EMC's current and uh, next generation user interfaces, it has a very common look and feel with all EMC technologies. Uh, as soon as the uh, UI has been opened, you'll see that there's a nice simple and easy wizard or you can go directly to the more advanced UI, which I'm going to do right here. The wizard would step you through the process in a step-by-step -step fashion. It's even easier. Uh, here we can see that I've got uh, an ESX host that's already using um, some storage that is a distributed volume, uh, distributed virtual volume. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to create a new extent. Extent is the lowest level uh, of an individual device. And it's based off of a LUN that's presented uh, from one of the two sides of the array. So you can see I'm on cluster number one and you can see that LUN 10 up here is claimed but not currently used. So we'll put an extent on that individual LUN. Creating the extent is as simple as hitting that button, identifying the storage that's to be used, which in this case is that individual volume, identifying whether you'd like to use the entire volume or whether there's a subset that you'd like to use, which we're going to do right here. Defaults to the maximum, of course. And then, once you hit next, you're done. An extent is the smallest volume can be aggregated up into a device. So the next step in the process is to go and actually create a device on that first cluster. So let's close this wizard. And let's go over to the simple menu. We'll click on uh, devices. By the way, the extent that we just created, if you take a look, is listed right here. So you can see that we've got a 10 gigabyte um, extent that's been claimed but not currently used. So let's click on that and say create a device. So you can do that either by going to the devices and say create or you could go to the extent tab and say create device. So you can see that it's easy to correct, uh, create the next higher level object directly from the context that you're in. So we'll take this extent that we just created We'll turn it into a device. And again, this extra step is here because you may have many, many LUNs that you want, might want to turn into one very, very large device. Uh, I believe the maximum is 128 terabytes is the current maximum of a device um, and, and a volume. So there we go. We've created this device. Now we would simply repeat this process on the remote cluster, uh, which I'm just going to skip here for the sake of time, but it's the exact same process. Simple and easy. So. Uh, once we come back to the environment, the next step is to create a distributed device. So when we go to create a distributed device, we're going to simply specify a name, and then we're going to specify uh, the node from the, from the clusters. You can see that currently um, uh, VPlex in its current iteration, both local and uh, um, metro, uh, meaning metropolitan class 100 kilometer to type distance is being stretched, you could have two nodes um, you know, in, in the two clusters, uh, one cluster at one site, one cluster at the other site. Uh, EMC has uh, indicated that over time we will support uh, multiple uh, cluster sites. So in other words, not a two-site relationship, but an end-site relationship. So there we go. We've created that uh, new uh, distributed device and the virtual volume on top of it. Now this could easily be presented up to a host, for example, uh, vSphere cluster. Uh, nodes both on, on one side and the other for uh, long distance vMotion uh, class use cases. Simple and easy. If we take a quick look, it's also easy to see directly from in, inside the GUI uh, what's the rule set. In other words, what happens if there's a partition state, which cluster side wins. The, the current default is that cluster 1 detaches and wins. Um, you can see health indications of the uh, current state uh, of uh, uh, geographically dispersed cache coherency between these two sites. And you can also see the relationships of the devices. So here you can see that that distributed uh, virtual device is composed of those two devices on those two extents uh, between those two clusters. So that's literally it in just a few clicks. Um, it's a simple and easy to set up. And as you can see, the answer to the question is it's really easy to set up on EMC VPlex.